welcome to standard form um, just before we start just a reminder that there is a notes chapter available for this video just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video so just to begin with um, I just want to think about powers of 10 and powers of 10 um, mean uh, where we have 10 to the power of another number and what the result is and I'm going to start with a couple that you should be familiar with um, 10 squared squared meaning times by itself so 10 times 10 is 100 10 cubed well that is 10 times 10 times 10 so uh, 10 times 10 is 100 times 10 is a thousand and if we keep going with this list if I keep going upwards if I go to 10 to the power of 4 well that will be 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 we already know that 10 cubed is a thousand so if I times that by 10 again it's going to be 10 thousand now you may start to notice that there's a small connection going on every time as we've moved up we've added an extra zero onto the end so if we keep going down if I now go to 10 to the power of 1 what might we have well we've uh, if we take a zero off we'd be left with 10 and that is because 10 to the power of 1 um, would just mean 10 all on its own. If we keep going, 10 to the power of 0. So what is the answer to 10 to the power of 0? Well, the pattern has to continue. Um, we've taken off a 0 as we go down the list each time. So if I take off another 0, 10 to the power of 0 is just 1. Now, we are then going to start moving into negative powers. So 10 to the power of a negative 1, 10 to the power of negative 2, and 10 to the power of negative 3. What effect is that going to have? Well, the other thing that we need to recognise here is that as we are going down, this isn't just taking off a 0, because that's not a very mathematical uh, process. What we are actually doing is dividing by 10. So every single time we've divided by 10. And so the question is, what is 1 divided by 10? Well, 1 divided by 10 is actually 0 0.1. If I divide that by 10, what will I get? Well, it will be 0 0.01. And if I divided that by 10 again to get 10 to the power of negative 3, 0 0.01. 0, 1. Now, is there another connection between those values and the answer that we've got? Well, let's have a look at each of these powers. A power of 4. 4 zeros. A power of 3. 3 zeros. A power of 2. 2 zeros. And this continues. 1, 1, 0. A power of 0, 0, zeros negative one the difference here is there is one zero but it is before the one negative two two zeros but before the one negative three three zeros but before the one now these are important because of what standard form actually is and does um, standard form is a shorthand for writing either very big numbers or very small numbers and so you'll notice with our powers here, we've got some very big numbers at the top and we've got some very small numbers at the bottom. And standard form is always made from two parts. It needs a number between 1 and 10 and then a times a power of 10. So these numbers on the left hand side, these are all going to be a part of standard form somewhere along the line. So let's begin by trying to uh, write some really big numbers um, in standard form. Um, and let's see if we can put the rules that we've just looked at into action. Um, so the Earth is roughly 45430000000 years old. Write this in standard form. Well, the first thing we should really look at here is what does that actually mean? Um, well, in terms of the number of digits we've got here, we've got three and then another three and then another three so that tells me i'm actually dealing with billions so we are at four billion five hundred and forty three million years old um but what we need to think about is what standard uh, what our rule of standard form 
said. It said we needed a number between 1 and 10. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to add a decimal point into this original number so that it now lies between 1 and 10. Well, the only place we can do that will be by placing a decimal point between the 4 and the 5. So I'm going to have 4.543. I don't need to write down the rest of the zeros um, because in terms of a decimal, they would have no value. Um, they do in the, full in the full number, but not when we've turned it into a decimal. But we then need the standard form. And so the other part of it is always times 10 to a power. So we need to work out what power that must be. And this all comes from the number of spaces that we have just removed from the question. And so if we look at the original number, we have removed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 digits. So 9 places is what we have uh, removed. And so that is the power which we need to use. 4.543 times 10 to the power of 9. The power is all related to how many spaces we have removed by turning it into a decimal. If we look at Facebook, Facebook has more than 26000000000 active users worldwide. Write this in standard form. Well, again, uh, we should probably just start by having a look at what that actually means. Well, if we take it in groups of three again, three and three and three, well, that is, again, dealing with billions. It is 2.6 billion active users. And so that is a useful value because we always need to start with a number between 1 and 10. Where do I put a decimal point to do that? Well, I'd have to put it between the 2 and the 6. And so it would be 2.6. And again, times 10, we then need to think, how many spaces have we removed in order to make it 2.6? Well, we've got 3 and 6 and 9. And so again, our power is 9. For the Earth's diameter, so um, how far across is the entire Earth? It has a diameter of 12742000 metres. Write this in standard form. So again, what number is this actually talking about? Well, if we go to sets of three this time, we've only got two of them. So we're dealing with millions. We've got 12,742,000. Now for this one, if I were to uh, make this a number between one and 10, where would I have to place the decimal point? Well, if it has to be between one and 10, then it would have to be right here, straight after the one. It'd be 1.2. One seven four two again i don't need the zeros at the end i just need the uh, the, uh, the actual values 1.2742 but i need a times 10 because standard form always has times 10 to a power and we need to just now check how many spaces are we dealing with well we've got one two three four five six seven and so our power would be 7. 1.2742 times 10 to the power of 7. In our next example, uh, we're going to start looking at some very, very small values. So a grain of sand, obviously a very tiny item. A grain of sand has a diameter of 0 0.0024 inches. Write this in standard form. Well, now we need to think about the whole point of it being a number between 1 and 10. We already have a decimal in this case, but I need to move this decimal place. I need to put it in a different position in the number so that it's between 1 and 10. And if I'm going to do that, well, I'm going to have to look at placing it between the 2 and the 4. It will be 2.4. And the times 10 
Now this is where we need to be very careful because this is a small number. We need to think about the fact that we've actually moved the uh, move the values in the other direction. And so how many spaces have we moved that decimal point in the number? Well, we've moved it one, two, three spaces in order to place it between two and four. But because this is a small number and the movement has happened in the opposite direction, this means we have a negative power. So small numbers will have a negative power and that is 10 to the power of negative three. A DNA chain is approximately 0 0.0000022 millimeters long. Write this in standard form. So again, what we need to do is have a look at this and think where can we place a decimal point so that it is between one and 10. Well, the only place we could do that will be right here between the two and the two. So 2.2, 2. it's still times 10, but it all comes down to now, how many spaces have we moved in order to reach that? Well, the decimal point was originally here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So six spaces, but this was a very small number. So it's a negative power. It is negative six. And finally, a grain of pollen has a diameter of 0 0.00002 meters. Write this in standard form. Now in this one, where would I need to put a decimal point so that it became a number between one and 10? Well, it's actually quite an interesting one. I would actually have to place it right at the very end to make the number two. You could call that 2.0, but two is good enough. And two is exactly what we want in this case. So two times 10. And again, we just need to track how many spaces we had to move. So from the original decimal point, one, two, three, four, and we need to take it to be behind the two, which is five spaces. So that is negative five. Two times 10 to the power of negative five. Okay, so lastly, um, we want to do the other conversion. So we've converted ordinary numbers into standard form. Now we want to go the other way. We want to turn the standard form numbers into ordinary numbers. And so the first bit of information we're given is that 3.25 times 10 to the power of nine hours of video are viewed every month on YouTube. Right, this is an ordinary number. Well, at the moment, this doesn't seem, uh, we don't really know what this means. Um, this number of 10 to the power of nine though, it does suggest it's quite a big value. So what we need to do in order to turn it into an ordinary number, we need to write down the digits that we have, 3.25. And what we need to think about is the fact that it is a times 10 to the power of nine. That is a positive uh, power, meaning it's a very big number. And it means that this decimal point that was currently between the three and the two should actually be nine places later. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the decimal point should actually be all the way at the end here. Now, what do we need to do in the, all of these gaps? Well, we need to add our placeholders, our zeros. Zero, 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 zero. zero, zero. And so the number is actually, if we just check again for sets of three, there they are. So that is actually 3 billion, 250 million hours of YouTube every month. Mars is 1.647 times 10 to the power of eight kilometers from Earth, right? This is an ordinary number. Well, again, we want to start with the digits we begin with, 1647, and times 10 to the power of eight, well, that is a positive value. So again, we're going to move to the right from the decimal point that we've been uh, given to start with. So that's one place, two places, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, 
they need placeholders we need our zeros to give the size of the number and so if we deal with that one again we're actually now looking at 164 million seven hundred thousand kilometers a y chromosome is 1.5 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meters long write this as an ordinary number now you may or may not know but a y chromosome is something that is very 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 small and you can tell that from the fact we have a negative power and it's negative 6 which makes it very small we're going to begin in this case with our digits 1 and the 5 but this time because it's a negative we are going to move to the left we're going to count six spaces to the left so that is one two three four five six and in this case i'm going to actually draw that decimal point in because the decimal point is important because as we are adding our space holders our zeros we need to remember that there is actually a zero at the front as well so 0 0.0000015 and that is how many meters long a y chromosome is very very small finally ultraviolet light has a wavelength of 6 times 10 to the negative 8 meters write this as an ordinary number and so again the number 6 is what we need to begin with but for this one we have to be careful again where is the decimal point in the number six well the decimal point would be here after the six so as we are going to draw our loops in that's going to have to move from behind the six to in front so that's going to be one two three four five six seven eight there's my new decimal point and again all of my placeholders of zeros i have 0 0.0000006 and so we end with the exam question at excel june 2017 foundation paper 2 meaning it is a calculator paper um, it says write 4.7 times 10 to the negative 1 as an ordinary number. So all we need to think of here, begin with the digits that we've been given, but 4.7 to the negative 1, well what does that do to the decimal point? It moves it to the left. It's one space in this case. So put the point here in front of the 4, and then we would add a 0 in front. 0 0.47 now as this was a calculator paper i just want to check is there a way that we could have done that slightly easier um well if we think about our calculator um, we could actually put that into use um, and just type in it in so 4.7 then we're going to use the times 10 to the power of exponent that is our times 10 to a power and then it says negative one so we use our negative one and we press equals it tells us it's 47 over 100 and that is exactly correct it is entirely true but if you want to see it as a decimal press your sd button and it comes out at 0 0.47 so we could actually answer this question without doing any working ourselves if we're just used to using our calculator effectively